temptation to wear someone else's armor. Oh, yeah. That's a tough one, isn't it? It really is. Because we've all, we've all done it, haven't we? But we all know the times when wearing somebody else's armor gets us into trouble, doesn't it? So what I'd like you to do is, as we kind of pull this together here, is thinking about whose armor are you wearing? Whose armor are you wearing? And so I want to give you some time to just think about that and just jot yourself down some notes. And I want to give you some stories about this. And I shared some of this with some of you earlier, it's from, from, my, from my experience. <laughs> one of the things, one of the roles, one of the expectations, one of the duties uh, of pastoral ministry is hospital visitation. And I heard Brother Johnson talk about you know, not, not being really, that doesn't get you out of bed every morning. <laughs> it keeps me in bed. <laughs> just saying. I am not good at that. It's just, I look at that and, and there, was, there was kind of a standing joke that went around the church leadership. As you know, if Pastor Al comes to see you in the hospital, you need to worry because you're really sick. You know? <laughs> it's, no, please, please stay out. You know, it's, it, it, because I don't do that well. Um, and I don't do house, you know, shut-in and house visitation very well either. It's hard for me, as you can, you can imagine from my story of the athletic director. I'm not good at that. And I try. I try to put on the armor because I'm supposed to do that, right? We're supposed to do that. And, uh, and so I do, and I'm not very good, and the people are always as, as glad to see me go as I am to leave, you know, because you know, they, they feel for me, because they know how uncomfortable, you know, I, you know, I don't know. But I can't put that armor on. But the outcome is every member of the congregations that I serve need to feel loved and cared about. But what I can do, and what I am pretty good at, is identifying people who are really good at this and then equipping them to do it. So that I can equip a cadre of, of and we did this, you know, we, we, we looked into, and we, we finally settled on Befrienders Ministry. And that's what we did, is we just, we just trained up a whole group of people within our church who were the visitation team. And they loved it, and they were good at it, and people loved to seeing them come. Uh, where it was, you know, people, when I would come to people saying, how soon can we get him out of here? You know, they were saying, oh, they would love to have those visits. I got to that outcome of people feeling cared about and feeling it. And of course, you know, I made the calls and, and, and would do that. But the way we did that and made people work and the way it worked in terms of a ministry and equipping people for ministry uh, was I stopped wearing that armor. And let somebody else do, the, do that and, and create that ministry for themselves and do it better than I ever could. There's another one here, too. Um, yeah, this is, a, this is kind of a little measuring instrument. <laughs> and the story behind this, this isn't the actual instrument. This is just something I found. So, so as a new, so new church pastor, and uh, our first building was Family Life Center. We built a Family Life Center. It was great, but there was, we had to set up chairs, you know, because it was multi-purpose space. So we set up chairs like this. Uh, every Saturday night, setting up chairs. Um, and I thought, I don't, and, and my thinking was in this, and I, and I would do it, I would set up the chairs, you know, um, on, on Saturday night, and uh, we set up, you know, about, about 500 chairs, and I'd set them up like this. Um, and, uh, and I would just do it because I thought, uh, this is really a thankless job, I really don't like this, and why would I wish this on anybody else? You know, I really, you know, I, so, so I was thinking that I'm keeping, I'm going to do this so somebody else doesn't have to because it's such a, you know, such a pain and I really didn't like it. Uh, then one night I kind of, uh, you know, I kind of let my guard down and I didn't like it and, uh, and the custodian came and says, so, so pastor, what are you doing here? I'm setting up the chair. He says, well, I could do that. And I said, really? He said, oh yeah, I can do that. Okay. And, you know, in a weak moment I, I gave it over to him. <laughs> But let, so what Larry did, he turned this into an art form. 
So from the front of the stage to the back, he set up a rope. So he had a rope so there would be perfect spacing between the aisles. They would be perfectly spaced apart. He also developed the chair setup stick that was exactly 47 inches. So from back to back, it was 47 inches. So each row, every row was perfectly 47 inches. Oh yeah, yeah, and not only that, he, was, he recruited teams of people to help him do it. And they had kind of a party on Saturday night to set everything. Yeah, we had you know, Sunday services, right? That's, so, that's how, how we, did the, we do things. Um, and, and eventually we had Saturday night church as well. But, but he did the setup and recruited people to do it, and that was a form of ministry for him. Once I stopped wearing the armor that didn't fit, other people got involved and found their ministry and their calling and were able to do something wonderful and do things far better than I ever could. So what, whose armor are you wearing? So I want you to take a few minutes and just jot down some things. What expectation or role or duty as a pastor is most challenging for you? And then just jot yourself down some notes here. Why is it challenging? Um, how have you, what have you done in the past to fulfill it? How might you do it differently based on your talents? Are there partners you might reach out to? Are there any support systems you might employ, thinking about from this afternoon? Is there anyone you might invest in? So give some thought to that. I'm going to give you about five minutes or so to do that, okay? Go ahead and jot yourself down some notes. 